Hello, dear students. Today, our topic is cervical plexus and the lymphatic nodes of the head and neck. First of all, we will talk about cervical plexus. The cervical plexus, plexus cervicalis, is formed by the anterior branches of four superior cervical nerves. First cervical, spinal nerve, second, third, and fourth. Anterior branch of this four cervical spinal nerve will make cervical plexus. From segment of spinal cord begins anterior root or ventral root and posterior root dorsal root. In this place where joints anterior and posterior root, this part of nerve has named spinal nerve. Spinal nerve goes through intervertebral notch and divided in anterior branch, ventral ramus, and posterior branch. Anterior branch of four superior cervical nerves joins together and make cervical plexus. The branches arising from the plexus are divided into cutaneous, muscular, and mixer. Cutaneous, of course, it will be sensorial, muscular, this is motoral, and mixer because it has sensorial and motoral fibers. The cutaneous branches. First, this is lesser occipital nerve. Nervus occipitalis minor. Second, greater auricular nerve. Third, supraclavicular nerve. Supraclavicular nerve, also sensorial. And last, sensorial, this is transversal cervical nerve. From cervical plexus begins four sensorial nerves. Cervical plexus. This is paired plexus, lie on both lateral side of neck. Cervical plexus makes cervical loop. Ansa cervicalis. Ansa cervicalis makes by help of two root, superior root and inferior root. Superior root begins from hypoglossal nerve. This is 12th cranial nerve. Inferior root begins from cervical plexus. They join together and make cervical loop. Cervical loop will give motoral fibers to intrahyoid and muscle of neck. There is lesser occipital nerve, greater auricular nerve, transversal cervical nerve, supraclavicular nerve. Mixed nerve, we have only one, which have name phrenic nerve. Phrenic nerve goes downward through superior thoracic upper tooth, goes inside in cavity of chest, and continues to diaphragm. In this picture, we can see skin, which will innervate by help of cervical plexus. Lazar occipital nerve, transversal cervical nerve, Supraclavicular nerve, greater auricular nerve. The lesser occipital nerve. Nervus occipitalis minor runs to the skin of the lateral part of the occipital region. Greater auricular nerve. Nervus auricularis magnus. The thickest nerve of the cutaneous branches of the cervical plexus passes to the concha auriculum, innervate it, and the external acoustic nerve. Nervus transversus coli. Transversal cervical nerve arises like the preceding two nerves from the middle of the posterior edge of musculus sternocleidomastoideus and divide into branch which curve around the posterior edge of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and pass over its external surface, forward and down under the musculus platysma, and will innervate the skin of the neck. Supraclavicular nerves continuous vertically downward and divided in three, 
medial supraclavicular nerve, intermedial, and lateral. Right around the same name, one third part of clavicle. Continuous to the level of first and second rib of the thoracic cavity. Innervates skin around them. Also innervates skin around the deltoid muscle and greater pectoral muscle. Motoral fibers have other name, muscular branches. Branches to the musculi recti capitis anterior and lateralis. Musculi longus capitis and coli. Musculi scaleni, musculo levator scapulae, and finally to musculi intertransversari anterioris. The mixed branch, we have only one phrenic nerve, nervus phrenicus. Nervus phrenicus descends along musculus calenus anterior into the thoracic cavity, where it passes between the subclavian artery and vein. Between subclavian artery and vein. Continues downward, both nerves pass in the anterior mediastinum between the pericardium and pleura. Right and left phrenic nerve. Motoral fibers, which includes phrenic nerve, goes through diaphragm and will innervate this muscle. Central fibers go to pericard. That's why this central fiber is named pericardial. Innervates pericard of heart, mediastinal pleura, and continues through diaphragm in abdominal cavity. And on the right side, will innervate peritoneum, liver, and go bladder. Limb from head and neck goes into right and left jugular lymphatic trunk, which pass on each side near internal jugular vein and fall right into right lymphatic duct or into right venous angle and left into thoracic duct or immediately into left venous angle. Right jugular lymphatic trunk, which pass on each side near internal jugular vein and fall. Right into right lymphatic duct, there is right venous angle. Venous angle, this is place where joins internal jugular vein with subclavian vein. Right lymphatic duct, very short. Left jugular lymphatic trunk opens in thoracic duct. This is thoracic duct, which opens in left venous angle, this is between left internal jugular vein and left subclavian vein. This place from which limbs go in right lymphatic duct. This all are the part of body. This is place from which limbs go in thoracic duct. There is right venous angle, right lymphatic duct, jugular lymphatic trunk, on left side, left venous angle, thoracic duct, left jugular lymphatic trunk. Thing from head runs into the knots on boundary between head and neck. They include the following occipital, lymphatic knots, mastoid, parotid, maxillary. Supramandibular, submandibular, submental. This is lymphatic node on the level of head. Parotid divided in deep and superficial lymphatic nodes. Efferent vessels from this node extend in deep cervical nodes. Occipital nodes. Mastoid nodes on the level of mastoid process of temporal bone. Parotid knots, which we divided in superficial and deep. Facial, buccal, mandibular knots, submental knots, submandibular. There is anterior cervical knots, which we divided in superficial and deep. Lateral lymphatic knots. Submandibular lymphatic nodes, 
and submental lymphatic nodes. Occipital lymphatic nodes. More often we have from one to six lymphatic nodes. On the level of place where begins sternocleidomastoid muscle. We have limbs from skin and deep tissue of occipital and temporal part of head. Parotid lymphatic nodes. More often we have one four superficial and four ten deep. Deep parotid lymphatic nodes include preauricular and postauricular lymphatic nodes. Deep from this lymphatic nodes continues to superficial and deep lateral cervical lymphatic nodes. Facial lymphatic nodes we have from four to nine located in subskin tissue on the face. We can divide it for group. Buccal lymphatic nodes, nasolabial, nodus molaris, nodus mandibularis. Lingual lymphatic nodes we have from 1 to 5, located on the level of root of tongue. Submental lymphatic nodes we have from 1 to 8, located in subkin tissue of the submental region. Submandibular lymphatic nodes can be from 6 to 8, located in subskin tissue on the level of submandibular triangle. Howling from upper lip, lower lip, cheek, tongue, palatine, palatinal tonsils, sublingual and submandibular salivary gland. Lymphatic nodes of the neck we divided in anterior and lateral. Both of them we can divide in superficial and deep. Superficial cervical lymphatic nodes located in subskin tissue of the knee on the level of anterior cervical triangle and lies more externally than superficial lamina of cervical fascia. Deep cervical lymphatic nodes lie more often around major vessels of the knee. There is a lateral cervical lymphatic nodes, lateral superficial cervical lymphatic nodes lies around external jugular vein. It can be from three to nine. Supraclavicular nodes. This is also lymphatic node of the knee. Lymphatic nodes, this is secondary lymphoid organs. Lymphatic node health capsule. This capsule gives inside rabacles, peripheral part of lymphatic node we have in cortex, more central part near helum of lymphatic node, we have medulla, and from helum begins lymphatic vessels, which continues to next lymphatic nodes or to trunk, peripheral part cortex, which consists of lymphatic nodules, medulla, and there begins afferent lymphatic vessels. To lymphatic nodes come afferent lymphatic vessels, through which a lymph goes in lymphatic nodes, goes through cortex, medulla, and continues through afferent lymphatic vessels, which begins on the level of helum of lymphatic nodes. Thank you for your attention.